Hey everyone, it's Ben Hughes here, obviously, from obviouslybenhughes.com, and if you remember my last video, I showed you that I was in an airport. Well, sadly, I am still in that airport, but for me, it's uh, it's only about a few minutes later. For you, it's probably a whole week, maybe two weeks later. Uh, so we're still in the airport, we're about to board our plane, say hi, Dad. Hey, hey, oh. hey, what's up? And uh, our plane is back there, it finally has arrived, and what's the name of it? All we need is blue. All you need is blue. Da, 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 da. So we're about to board, and uh, I guess for us it's going to take about six hours, but for you it's going to be pretty instantaneous to uh, to get to California. And now by the magic of time travel, or I guess you could say the magic of flying through the air at 500 miles an hour, we are in California. We stayed uh, at that hotel last night. There's my parents in the car. And uh, it is now the next day, and we are about to travel uh, maybe about three hours up north to uh, check out the Sequoia at the Sequoia National Park. So that's what's on our agenda for today. Uh, sounds exciting. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. So uh, yeah, let's go. We are on the way to uh, Sequoia National Park, but we saw this kind of interesting uh, formation and we pulled off and it turns out that there's a lake here. It's called Lake Kauai and it's huge it's really 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 big look at that like you can't you can't really even get a feel for the size of it uh, we're up on a platform right now at the visitor center but you can't you can't really understand the size of it there's like houseboats down there there's people down there fishing and that's so neat totally unexpected but really really cool uh, so we're gonna hang out here take a few pictures and then uh, continue on so we've made it into Sequoia National Park and the crazy part about it we didn't realize is that at the top of every hour they let cars uh, they, they hold a bunch of cars at, uh, at the top of every hour they let all of those cars go through when we entered the park I think we entered at uh, it was 11 it was 1137 yes it was 1137 and they said oh you might as well just stop at the visitor center that's like right up the road because you're not going to make it in time to get to the end of the line and uh, and make it into that line of cars that they let through at the top of the hour at noon. So dad, hearing that as a challenge, because my dad is the most competitive person ever, decides to race through to the end of that uh, that line of cars. And uh, it is, it's 12.01 right now. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get through. We got to the construction point and, uh, and the construction guy waved us through and as we were going, he yelled into the car, cut you up to the end of the line and you won't have to wait an hour. And we did, we made it through. So uh, let me just give you a look at all the stuff outside the car. Oh my gosh, it's, it's breathtaking. So this part is just kind of incredible. We were driving through the middle of the national park, and uh, and we had to stop and uh, and get footage of this because look behind me, it's the root system of a fallen tree, and you can see you can see a guy up there, uh, very very small, just for size comparison. There's him, right, and that's <laughs> that's the root system. How big that is, man! Oh man! All right, now is kind of the exciting moment of this whole national park. You saw the auto log, that big dead tree that I showed you with the whole petrified root system. Uh, you saw a, uh, a bunch of different big trees that are all around the national park, but the biggest tree in the entire world is what I'm about to walk up to. It's called the General Sherman tree, and uh, it's named quite obviously after the United States General Sherman. And uh, it's actually, I was reading the plaque back there at the, uh, at the top of the mountain that we just walked down, because when you start on the trail, you start about uh, three quarters of the way up the height of this tree, and then you you know slowly walk your way down the uh, down the trail to it. And uh, the cool part is the top of the tree is actually completely dead. It doesn't grow taller at all, um, but it does continue growing outwards, and that's why it's you know the largest tree around, <laughs> biggest tree around. Um, but it really is. It's the largest tree you know circumference wise. And uh, there it is. It's right there. You want to see it? Ready? Wow! So let's take a little walk around big old General Sherman. It's uh, it's 2,200 years old, which is just mind-blowing. Uh, to go around the whole thing, the circumference of the actual tree is 103 feet. Um, I don't know if this is like a log that fell off of it, like a piece of the actual tree that just fell one day. 
I don't know. That's massive, though. Like, look at this. This is this is my hand for size comparison. That's just one one branch. Just one branch. It's incredible how smooth this is. Like, really weird, ladies. And it's uh, it's 275 feet tall. Like, look at that. That's just it's it's massive. It's it's mind blowing. You can't really comprehend how big it is, and it doesn't it doesn't do it justice on video to see the world's largest tree in person. Let me give you an idea of just how friggin' huge these trees are. I mean, you can look and uh, and see the tree that's fallen behind me and see how far it goes, like how, you know, how long it is. But the cool part, uh, when I jump down from the rock that I was standing on, is when I get to go into here, this little uh, this little cutout area of this fallen tree they carved out. And, uh, and the cool part is, I mean, you can see all along this whole tree, there's, you know, there's carvings and stuff, but you go inside, which, it's very, very close for me. <laughs> uh, you go inside and there's like, there's carvings and people's names and stuff. Uh, there's still a hole from where the center of the tree was. Uh, and I guess, I don't know if all trees in the center are, um, you know, are hollow, but man, it's so cool. So I'm filming that part in the tree trunk that's all carved out, right? And I hear birds and oh my God, oh my God, I hate birds. And my biggest fear, they're right there. They're just chilling. They're just used to humans at this point. <sighs> so scary. Maybe I can just, I'll run up at them and scare them. Uh, 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 the <laughs> ah, screw you birds. Oh my God, there's one above me. Okay, yep, yeah, don't like it. Not happy, not happy. Wasn't a good idea. That was a bad idea. Totally bad idea. It's kind of interesting to me, uh, at least, that I was about to vlog about this, and then there's a sign right back here that says, take your time and slow down, because the air here at 7,000 feet, uh, because we're 7,000 feet above sea level, is a lot thinner. It's harder to, uh, you know, walk and do strenuous activity because you're breathing in air, but it's not as thick, and it's not, um, you know, it's not as potent. So you're breathing in air, and you're like, oh, why can't I breathe? Why can't I breathe? You know, and, uh, and when we were at the top of the trail, actually, uh, this lady walked by us, and I, you know, not making judgments or anything, but she was a larger woman, and uh, and she was, you know, she was huffing and puffing, and I was like, oh, that's interesting that, you know, it's it's hard to uh, to get back to the top of the uh, top of the trail, <sighs> and now you can hear me. I'm even starting. I'm like, oh, oh man, I gotta slow down. So I think I'm gonna stop vlogging for now uh, until I get back to the car at least, and uh, and just kind of take my time, take my leisurely time. <laughs> I know, I know, I said I would hold off vlogging until I got back to the car, but I, I had to say this. I, you know, the entire time that I was standing there, we're taking photos, there's people, you know, from Germany, from China, from uh, other states, there's people from all over the world looking at this big tree, right? And all I can think of is P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. <laughs> And just like that, we are back in the car, but it is not the same day as the Sequoias. It is now Friday, the next day, and uh, we are in the car heading towards Santa Cruz. We slept in uh, Fresno, California, about an hour and a half away from the Sequoias last night, and uh, we are heading towards Santa Cruz. Uh, once we get there, we're going to hit the Pacific Coast Highway and travel down the Pacific Coast until we get to around Los Angeles uh, at Huntington Beach. The place that I'm at is, uh, it's called, oh, what is it called? I don't even know where we are, but uh, you know the, uh, the the body of water that I showed you yesterday. Well, that was pretty beautiful, right? We're driving along uh, driving along the highway, going toward uh, toward Santa Cruz, and we stopped here. And I don't even I don't even know where here is. What what does it say? Does it say the B F Sisk San Luis Dam? Have a look at this. Ready? This is just beautiful. It's insane. Now that's the really cool part for us, at least, is uh, is way over on those mountains. Can you see them? I tried to put them as in focus as possible. There's all wind turbines way, way, way across over the distance. And uh, it's cool for us because we live in Massachusetts in an area where people are actually debating whether or not to put wind turbines uh, offshore because we have incredibly strong winds right off the uh, right off the coast of Massachusetts. The people who are for it, like I am personally, uh, say that this project, it's called Cape Wind if you want to look it up, 
uh, this project would uh, quite obviously give a lot of wind energy to the area um, because there's just such high winds out there and it's uh, it's pure ocean wind. It's, it's not like there's any obstruction or anything. People who are against it, uh, really the best sort of, um, the best sort of excuse, in my opinion, that they can come up with for the reason that we shouldn't put these turbines there is because, wait for it, they will be an obstruction for these people's views off of the coast of their million dollar ocean side homes, uh, multi-million dollar ocean side homes. And I mean, I don't want to make this a political video, but it's, uh, you know, it's interesting to think about. And uh, it's kind of cool to see that, you know, at least somewhere in the world or somewhere in the, uh, the United States, they can do it. All right, we've been driving uh, probably about another hour since uh, since the last video, but we are now at Monterey Bay, and you can see it out the window. Uh, we're driving by it because we're about to get on the Pacific Coast Highway. I figured I'd show you it because it's pretty and uh, it's famous, so yeah, that's fun. Look at it, it's so pretty. And just as fast as we saw Monterey Bay, we now are back inland and away from the ocean. But that's exciting because we're about to head to the Pacific Coast Highway, and if you've never heard of or seen or been to the Pacific Coast Highway, it's this really long, windy, very apparently scary stretch of road that runs right along the Pacific Coast. That's why it's called Pacific Coast Highway. And uh, so we're gonna go on that and hopefully not go off any cliffs and, uh, and try to show you all of the uh, the ocean views and everything that's gonna be uh, right outside our door. We were just driving along regular highway and like that it turned into the PCH which you can see down there and that's that's not even like that's not even the crazy part yet we're not even driving along the cliffs yet but uh, that's basically what you can expect and it's it's kind of funny you can uh, you can look over there and see someone's yard could you imagine even like living on these cliffs and just having like the ocean to rock you to sleep at night so neat so neat there's so much fog out here that you can't there it looks like I'm just it looks like I'm on a white backdrop. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. There's so much fog, so hopefully that clears up. tell from that time lapse of us driving uh, it was really really foggy and we were all in the car kind of disappointed kind of bummed out but the cool thing is that the fog burned out and uh, and we drove under the remaining fog and I'm gonna show you look 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 at this it's gorgeous it's gorgeous oh my gosh do you see that that's that that's the reason we came that's oh my gosh it's just nuts. And there's uh, the cool part is, down there, there's all stuff spelled out in rocks from people who have visited here before. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. So freaking beautiful. So uh, yeah, we're gonna continue, but I thought, you know, why not show you guys that? The first part that we've been able to see without fog. So exciting. California, I, I think, even know maybe, I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> We've been driving, uh, and we still have, I think, 200 something miles to go before we get to where our hotel is tonight, so I think we're gonna get there around midnight after we leave here, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, whole bunch of driving today, whole slow driving. So yeah, we're gonna have food here, and uh, I think I'm going to, you know what, I think I'm gonna make this the end of the first vlog. 
and we'll do two vlogs for the California trip because there's just so much to do and see and put into the videos and it's already going to be a hugely long video already. So um, yeah, I think we're going to make this the end of the first video. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave comments down below uh, to any of the questions that I might have asked over the past three days. I can't even remember all the questions that I asked you guys. And uh, yeah, tell me what your favorite part of this video was. Uh, I'm really excited for the second part, part two. And uh, yeah, anything you guys want to say? What's your favorite part so far? Today? No, so far in general. Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. Kind of focus on Sequoia you guys. National. Well, it, Sequoia National. Sequoia? Sequoia was pretty cool. Yeah. The trees, but today was pretty breathtaking along the shoreline yeah. when we were able to see it. Really was. Definitely. What do you like, Ma? Not a fan of the fog. No. Yeah, that too. Everything does. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, please leave comments down in the comments <laughs> as Space. to what as to what you uh, as to what you guys liked, and uh, please remember to subscribe up above to YouTube.com/slash/ben if you want to get the second part of this California adventure in your uh, YouTube subscription inbox. And thank you guys so much for viewing, and I will see you tomorrow, technically, but in the next video. Uh, yeah, Ben Hughes here, obviously. Yeah.